Huh? What is this? Oh my god, it's from a school. Let's see what it says. I got in, I got accepted into a school. In the living room. Mom, Noah, are you home? Yes, Amelia, we are here. Amelia, what's got you so excited? Mom, Noah, look, I got accepted into a school. We knew you could do it, sis. You're amazing. Oh, my dear, I'm so proud of you. You've worked so hard for this. This calls for a celebration. Let's do something special tonight. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Awesome. Okay, I'll go out and buy you a present. You deserve it, dear. Ah, oh, thank you, Mom. Okay, wait a few minutes. I will be back soon. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye. One hour later. It's getting really late. And Mom still hasn't come back. I hope she's all right. Maybe she's just caught up with something. Let's give her a call to check. Oh, it's Mom. Hello? Is this Mrs. Bella's daughter? Yes, this is Amelia. What happened? Your mother was involved in a car accident. She is in the emergency room at the hospital. This is the address. Okay, I will go there right now. Amelia's hands tremble as she tries to process the news. She quickly informs Noah, and without a moment's hesitation, they rush to the hospital. At the hospital. She's going to be okay, right, Noah? Of course, she's strong. She'll pull through this. How is my mom, doctor? Your mother is stable for now. The doctors are taking good care of her. Thank you so much. Can we see her? Yes, you can go in, but please keep the visit short. She needs to rest. Amelia, Noah, you're here. Mom, we're here. We love you so much. I love you both too. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. We're here to take care of you, Mom. You just focus on getting better. A few minutes later. I'm sorry, but visiting hours are over. Your mother needs her rest to heal. Of course. Thank you for taking care of her. Yeah, thanks for all you do. We'll be back first thing in the morning, Mom. I'll be waiting. I love you both. Hey, Noah. I've been thinking. I want to get a part-time job to help out with the expenses. Mom's medical bills and all. Amelia, you know I got this, right? You don't have to worry about it. School should be your focus. But I want to chip in and do my part. Amelia, you're still in school. And you gotta focus on that. I'll handle things, okay? I just hate feeling like I'm not doing enough, you know? I get it, sis. But your education is important. It's gonna open doors for all of us. Don't worry, okay? Okay. I won't drop out of school, but I'll keep my eyes open for any opportunities to help out. That's the spirit, Amelia. So now, let's go home. Tomorrow is your first day at your new school, right? Yeah, I hope it will be okay. The next day, in the classroom. Class, today we have a new student joining us. This is Amelia and she'll be starting with us from now on. Amelia, why don't you introduce yourself to your new classmates? Hi everyone, my name is Amelia. I just moved here from another town. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know all of you. Wow, she's so pretty. Seriously, I think she is prettier than Raina. Huh, seriously? She's not even that cute. Amelia, why don't you take the empty seat over there? You'll find your textbooks and materials in your locker. Class, let's give Amelia some time to settle in. Okay, class, let's start our lesson today. Lunch time. Oh no, I forgot to bring my lunch. I guess I'll have to eat at the canteen today. Oh shoot, and I don't have money here. Um, excuse me, I forgot to bring my lunch. Can I borrow some money to buy food? Huh, why should I lend you money? It's not my problem that you forgot your lunch. Trying to get my crush's attention, huh? Such a pick-me girl. Harry should be paying attention to me, not her. He will definitely never help that stupid girl. Hey, Rayina, come join us for lunch. Coming, I'll be right there. Please, I promise I'll pay you back tomorrow. No, stay away from me. Again, I hate those girls trying to get my attention. Please, 
I really need it. I promise I'll pay you back. Fine, here's some money. Just take it and leave me alone. Thank you so much. I'll definitely pay you back tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, whatever. In the hospital. Mom, I'm back from school. How are you feeling now? Amelia, Noah, you're here. I'm feeling much better, dear. How was new school today? It is way more fun than I expected. Um, and I met a rude guy, but it's okay, Mom. Excuse me, is this Mrs. Bella? Yeah, I am. Who are you? Oh, he is my classmate. What is he doing here? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to introduce myself. I am Henry, and this is my son, Harry. Hello, Mr. Henry. Harry, do we know each other? Not exactly, but I'm the one who had the accident with you. It was entirely my fault, and I'm truly sorry for what happened. You're the reason why Mom ended up in the hospital. You waited until today to apologize? What kind of person are you? I had an important meeting yesterday, and I couldn't leave. Are you kidding me, a meeting? That's why my mom ended up in the hospital. Seriously, a meeting was more important than this. No, you're right. It was a stupid reason. And I should have been here. I can't forgive myself for what happened. Amelia, Noah, let's hear what he has to say. It wasn't just his fault. I should have been more careful too. Mom, he's the reason you're hurt. Can you go out for a while? We need to talk in private. Okay, Mom. You're the guy that lent me the money at lunchtime, right? Yeah, that's me. Why are you here? This doesn't concern you. Um, I was just accompanying my father. Um, here, thank you for earlier. Um, what money is that? Money I borrowed for lunch. Oh, no need to return it. Take it. I don't want to owe anyone. She seems different now. Not the same girl from earlier. Yeah, I, I hope your mom gets better soon. He seems less cold now. Yeah, thanks. Maybe I was too mean to her. As Amelia returned the money to Harry, there was a subtle change in their interaction. And Mr. Henry and Mrs. Bella had come to an agreement, and Mr. Henry promised to pay for all of the hospital effies. A few days later, Okay, class, that's enough for today. Hey, do you want to go home together? Huh? No, thank you. Don't worry, by the way, I'm also going to visit your mother. Um, okay, let's go. Ugh, seriously? Why does he never ask me to hang out? Look, Harry just asked Amelia out. Damn, he's got all the girls swooning over him. Yeah. Even the school hottie Reina has a crush on him. He's not showing any interest back. But now he's all about Amelia, the new girl. Hey, Reina's coming. Watch what you say. Yeah, we'd better go now. One hour later. Hey, your mom seems better now. Yeah, she'll be able to leave the hospital in a few days. That's great to hear. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Yeah, thanks. Hey. Wanna grab some milk tea? My treat. Ah, uh, that's tempting. But I should head home and study. Oh, no worries. Maybe another time? Sure, sounds good. Thanks again for showing me around. Anytime. See ya later, Amelia. Goodbye. She's not like other girls who act all clingy. Just because I'm good looking, it's kinda refreshing. She's so independent and chill. I like that about her. A few days later, lunchtime. Hey, Harry, um, do you, like, wanna have lunch together? Oh, sorry, Raina. I already made plans with Amelia. Oh, okay, no worries. I mean, you don't have to eat with me if you don't want to. Ugh, he chose her over me. I'm way more attractive than that brat. Maybe some other time, alright? Yeah, right. Like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, okay. Hey, Reina, we saved a spot for you. Let's have lunch together. Thanks, guys. I'll catch up with you in a sec. Harry, I... So, I think you'd better go to the canteen now. Um, okay. Damn it. Hey, let's go to the canteen together. 
Okay. Anyway, I noticed something today. What is it? I think Raina might have a crush on you. Really? You think so? Yeah. I saw the way she looked at you earlier. It seemed pretty obvious to me. Whatever. I don't like that girl. Huh? Why? She's always clinging to me. It's annoying. Ha ha ha. That's because she likes you. Anyway, I don't like that girl. Okay. Okay. Let's go grab some food. Okay. In the canteen. Hey, Raina, hot boy Harry hasn't fallen for your charms yet. Yeah, I've noticed him hanging out with that new girl, Amelia. Quite a lot lately. Ugh, don't even mention her. She's not even close to being as pretty as me. Oh, come on, Raina. Amelia is gorgeous, and you know it. No way, I'm way more attractive than her. Jealousy doesn't suit you, Raina. Remember how you led Jacob on even though you didn't like him? Jacob? Oh, that school gang leader. He's just a pawn in my game. I only use him to get things. You really know how to work it, don't you? Of course, but where is he now? Ugh, he should be here with my food already. Cheeseburger, please. Excuse me, there's a line here. So? So? You can't just cut in like that. Get back in line like everyone else. Mind your own business, girl. My business? Ha! Huh. Cutting in line is everyone's business here. Show some respect. You know who I am, right? Back off. I don't care who you are. You think you can just do whatever you want? Not on my watch. You're hilarious, trying to act tough, huh? You bet I am. You think you're the only one who can cut the line? What the? Damn right I did. Ugh, who the hell does she think she is? No one talks to me like that. Ugh, I have to hurry. My lovely Raina will be angry. Sorry, babe. I'm late. There was a girl holding up the line. Whatever. What's wrong? Who made my beautiful Raina angry? Oh, it's that sassy girl who cut in line like a boss. Yeah, she's got some guts. What? No one messes with my girl. How dare she? Who is that girl? Haha, <laughs> looks like she's got you all riled up. She is Amelia, a new student in Rhina's class. She's always trying to steal my spotlight. And she bullies me in class too. Ha ha ha, look at her lying. Don't worry, babe. You're always the most beautiful in my eyes. Hoo, I'm so scared. All right, calm down. I'll make sure she pays for making my girl cry. Ha, you're such a fool, Jacob. After school. What the hell is wrong with you people? Why did you do this? Oh, look who's here. It's the troublemaker. You're the rude guy at the canteen today. You did this? Are you serious? It's because of some stupid lunchtime incident? You think it's just about that? You dared to mess with our boss's crush. You bullied her. Who? That's ridiculous. I never bullied anyone. I am just a newcomer here. Stop lying. We've heard all about you and your games. You believe those lies? Open your eyes and see the truth. Who told you that? Huh? That is not important. Well, you better leave the school if you know what's good for you. Otherwise, next time won't be so easy for you. I won't be intimidated by your pathetic threats. I won't leave just because you want me to. I have every right to be here. Haha, <laughs> not enough. Guys, hold her back. Aren't you scared yet? I heard that you girls really like mice. Wah, what are you gonna do? What would you think if I put this rat on you? <laughs> no, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Let me go. No, no. Get it out of me. Hey, what's going on here? Break it up. Damn, we'd better go now. Lucky for you. Next time, it won't just be paint. Why do I have to endure this? I didn't do anything wrong. Are you okay, young lady? 
Thank you for coming in time. Don't let anyone intimidate you. If you ever feel unsafe, call us immediately. I will. Thank you, officer. The policeman ensures Amelia is safe and then leaves. I need to find out who's behind this and put a stop to it. Ugh, I'd better go home and change my clothes. A few days later. Ugh, it's been a few days and those bullies haven't shown up again. I guess I've been lucky, especially with Harry walking home with me most days. But today, I'm on my own. I better watch out. Oh no, it's Jacob and his gang again. I can't let them see me. I need to wait for them to leave. Hello, 911. This is Amelia. I need help. Please come quickly. Well, well, look who we have here. It's the little mouse trying to hide. Yeah, thought you could escape from us, huh? I, I didn't mean any harm. Please, just leave me alone. You haven't left school yet, huh? Yeah, we have warned you. Please, leave me alone. I never bullied your girl. Running away again? This time, we won't just throw paint at you. Your beautiful hair is gonna suffer. Please, new. Are you okay, young lady? Yeah, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for coming just in time. We received a distress call. Looks like you were in trouble. They've been bothering me for days. They even poured paint on me earlier. That's not acceptable. We'll take them to the station and sort this out. It was just a joke, officer. We didn't mean any harm. Well, it's no joke when you're causing distress to others. You'll have to come with us and explain your actions. The police officers escort the bullies away, and Amelia takes a moment to catch her breath. I need to be careful. These guys won't give up easily. I should talk to the school authorities about this. A week later, News of Jacob's juniors being arrested by the police for bullying Amelia spread like wildfire throughout the school. Ugh, my juniors are stupid, unable to handle a girl. What will Rayina think about me after this? Damn, why should I hide? Hey, did you hear about Jacob and his gang? They got arrested. Yeah, I can't believe it. I thought they were invincible. Ugh. How could they let themselves get caught like that? They're just a bunch of losers. Ugh, he's so useless. I only kept him around to buy things for me and to make that hick Amelia's life miserable. But he can't even do that right. What a waste of space. What did you just say? Jacob, I didn't mean. Save it. I can't believe you used me like that. And then badmouth me behind my back. Jacob, I'm sorry, I I can explain. I trusted you and did everything for you cause I like you. But all you did was use me and treat me like some pawn in your game. Fine, you knew it, so what? I don't like stupid guy like you anyway. Without you, there are a whole bunch of other guys who like me. You. What? Are you going to beat me up? Damn it, lucky for you, I didn't hit a girl or you're done. I shouldn't have wasted my energy on someone like her. Watch your back, cuz I'll make you regret this. How could I have been so blind? I thought Rayina genuinely liked me. And now, because of her, my gang is in trouble, and I've lost their respect. I can't believe I let myself be controlled by her. Well, well, look who we have here. Jacob, the big bad leader of the gang. Look, guys, I didn't mean to. Save it, you ditched us when things got tough left us to face the consequences while you ran off alone. It was so sudden that I, I ran. I thought you all ran away, but when I turned around, I couldn't see you too. You left us behind without a second thought. We were your friends and you ditched us. I know, and I'm sorry. It was a mistake. I shouldn't have left you guys. Sorry won't cut it, Jacob. We trusted you and you betrayed us. You're nothing but a spineless simp chasing after girls and ditching your so-called brothers. That's not true. I never wanted any of this to happen. Well, it did happen, all thanks to you. And now it's time to make you pay, Jacob. Please, I said I'm sorry. I'll make things right, I swear. Oh, we'll make sure you do. But first, we're gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget.
We better get the hell out of here before the cops catch us. This ain't over, Jacob. We'll settle this score and you'll regret ever crossing us. Are you okay? Huh? Why are you here? Where is the police? Ha! Huh. There isn't any police here. That is the sound from my phone. See? It worked, right? Yeah, it's weird but it saved me. Thanks for scaring them off with that police siren. Um, yeah, no problem. Huh? He said thank you to me. But why did you help me? After everything I did to you. Like I said, I just saw someone being bullied and couldn't stand by. I didn't know it was you. Really? You expect me to believe that? Why wouldn't you? It's the truth. But, thanks for helping me anyway. Well, to be honest, when I saw it was you, I hesitated for a moment. But then I thought that no one deserves to be treated like that, regardless of who they are. Even after everything I've done to you? Yes, even after that. I don't believe in holding grudges forever. People can change, and maybe you can too. She is different from what I thought. She's kind. You're right. I've been a jerk, and I'm sorry. It's not easy to admit that, so I appreciate it. But hey, why did they beat you? They're your friends, right? Well, that is because I left them to run alone. They were angry that I ran away when things got tough. And they lost faith in me as their leader. Yeah, I see. But hey, why did you bully? And you always say that I bullied your crush? I don't even know who she is. Um, sorry, I was fooled by that girl. Do you know Raina? Raina? Yeah, she is my classmate, but I rarely talk to her. She told you I bullied her, didn't she? I guess I was blind to it because I liked her, but now I see her for who she really is. Well, at least you realize it now, and I appreciate you being honest with me. I want to apologize for what I did. I'm sorry for bullying you and believing those lies. Apology accepted. But just remember, you need to change your actions too. I will. I don't want to be that person anymore. But hey, why did she lie? Hmm, maybe that is because I usually go with her crush. Huh, her crush? Who is that? That's Harry, my classmate. Oh, I see. So she was jealous and wanted to create problems for you. Seems like it. But it's all in the past now. Let's focus on moving forward. Yeah, you're right. By the way, can we be friends? Hmm, okay, but don't bully me anymore. Ha ha ha, of course. I will protect you from now on. I'll show you that I can change. Okay, I hope so. After that, Jacob and Amelia grew closer, and without even realizing it, they blossomed into true friends. Jacob finds himself falling for Amelia's kindness and genuine personality. He can't help but admire her. In the classroom. It's lunchtime. Let's go to the canteen. Yeah. Can you go first? I want to finish this task first. Okay. I'll take the spot for us. Okay. Thank you in advance. Ugh. That annoying girl is finally gone. She's been with Jacob a lot these days. By the way, it's none of my business. I'm gonna confess to Harry. Hey, Harry, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, hey, Raina, sure, what's up? Um, I've liked you for a while now, will you be my boyfriend? Oh, Raina, I appreciate your feelings, but I don't feel the same way. I see you as a friend. Is it because you like Amelia? No, it's not about Amelia. We're just friends. It's just that, I'm gay. Wait, what? You're gay? Yeah, I hope you understand. It's not about you or anyone else. It's just who I am. Shoot, he is gay, so I've fallen for a gay? Um, I can't be your boyfriend, but if you wanna be my bestie, it's okay. Who wanna be a gay's bestie? Um, oh, I have to go now, bye. Nah, actually, I'm not gay, but telling her that can keep her away from me. I should have said it months ago. Canteen! Hey, Amelia, can I sit here? Are you waiting for someone? Hey, Jacob, I'm just saving a spot for Harry. By the way, you can sit here. Thanks, but is Harry your boyfriend? Ha ha ha. No, he is my best friend. Phew, that's good to know. Don't worry, I'll introduce you to together. 
I think I fell in love with her. I will confess my feelings to her. Um, Amelia, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it? I, I really like you, Amelia. You're such an amazing person. And I can't stop thinking about you. I've had a crush on you for a while now. Oh my god, he says he loves me. What should I say? Um, Amelia, do you still hate me? Um, well, you're a great friend. And I enjoy spending time with you too, but, but I don't see you that way. I used to bully you, so if you still hate me, I can understand. I just had to tell you how I feel. Um, I don't hate you anymore, but it was so confusing. Just forget about what I have just said. Um, I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. No, of course not. I value our friendship too much to let this come between us. I'm glad we can still be friends. Hey, Amelia, who is this guy? Oh, hey, Harry, this is Jacob, my new friend. Yeah, nice to meet you, Harry. What, is this Jacob the school gang leader? And yes, he's the same Jacob, but he's changed, Harry. Hey, you used to bully my bestie, huh? Yeah, I did, and I'm really sorry about that. I've learned my lesson and I'm trying to be a better person now. Oh, hey, Jacob and I have talked it out. And I believe he has changed. Well, if you say so, Amelia. I hope he treats you right. And hey, if you dare to treat my best friend badly, I will beat you up. I promise I will. I really care about Amelia. Okay, we'd better grab the food now. I'm so hungry. Okay, I'll grab the food. Ugh. Now there's another good-looking guy next to Amelia who seems to be into her. And here I am liking her too. Amelia, we haven't hung out together for a while. Is it because you're with Jacob? Are you into him? No, Harry. Jacob is just a friend. He confessed to me, but I only see him as a friend too. Just like you, Harry. You're my close friend, but I don't love you romantically. Oh, I see. She still considers me her best friend? Harry, I hope this won't affect our friendship. You mean a lot to me as a friend. Yeah, of course not. Friends, right? Friends. Hey, guys, you won't believe what I just heard. What is it? There's going to be a school beauty contest. You should totally participate, Amelia. You're beautiful and smart. You have a good chance of winning. Oh. I don't know. It's not really my thing. Come on, Amelia. Think about it. The winner gets $500 as a prize. Oh, really? That's a lot of money. With $500, I could do so much good. I could treat my family with something nice. Or help out with my mom's medical expenses. So, what do you think? Um, let's see. With $500, you could do something amazing like buying something special for mom. Well, when you put it that way, okay, I'll do it. But I'm only in it for the prize money, not for the beauty stuff. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll win first place. Thanks for convincing me, guys. I'll give it a shot and do my best. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to all our stunning contestants. You've witnessed grace, beauty, and charm tonight. And now, it's time to announce the finalists for the beauty pageant. Our first finalist, please welcome Amelia. I can't believe I made it to the final round. This is incredible. And our second finalist, put your hands together for Raina. This is it, the moment I've been waiting for. I won't let anyone stand in my way. Congratulations, ladies. Tomorrow, you'll showcase your elegance and style in the catwalk to win the title of beauty. It's going to be an intense competition, and may the best woman win. Now, everyone, let's enjoy the party. Can you believe it? I made it to the final round. Tomorrow's the big day. You were incredible out there. I have no doubt you'll win the first prize. Yeah, you've got this in the bag. We're all rooting for you. Thanks, guys. Your support means everything to me. Meanwhile, Scarlet and Amber approach Reina with forced smiles. Reina, congratulations on making it to the final round. 
Yeah, you must be thrilled. Look at them, acting like they've already won. Well, I'll make sure that won't happen. The crown will surely belong to me. Don't worry, Reina. We've got a plan to take Amelia down. Yeah, she won't know what hit her. Ha, this would be fun. The next day, 30 minutes before the catwalk. This will show her who the real winner is. Reina, what are you doing here? Oh, it's nothing. I just came to check on my costume. Really? I told you, it's nothing. I should get going. See you on the catwalk. Hum, something doesn't feel right. Looks like Reina is hiding something. Damn it, Reina, how could you do this? I don't have time for Reina now. I won't let Reina ruin this for Amelia. She deserves to shine on that stage. 15 minutes later. Hmm, I will cut my costume too, so everyone will believe that I'm the victim. I've brought a superior replacement. But Amelia doesn't have any backup costume, and she'll be disqualified from the catwalk. Hey, Reina. What are you doing? Um, well, just changing costume. Hum, what are you hiding behind? No, nothing. None of your business. Ha! Huh. Who cares? Oh my god, my costume. It's ruined. What's the matter, Amelia? Looks like someone doesn't want you to shine on the catwalk. Did you do this, Reina? Did you cut my dress? Me? Why would I do such a thing? Oh my god, mine is ruined too. No way. I don't believe you. Show me your evening dress right now. God, she'll see the scissors in here. No, no, you have no right to look in my closet. Mind your own business. If you are innocent, then why are you so afraid to show me? I have every right to check. What are these doing here? Um, someone must have forgotten it in here. Enough with the lies, Reina. The scissors are in your closet. It was you who cut my dress. You must be mistaken. I would never do something so mean. Stop lying. You're just jealous because you can't stand the thought of me winning. The scissors in my closet can't prove anything. My costume was ruined too. See? You think anyone will believe you over me? Please, you're not even competition for me. How dare you? Anyone? Help! Reina, are you okay? Hey, what's going on here? My costume. She ruined my costumes. What? How could her? I will report this. No, I didn't do that. My costume was ruined too. <laughs> yeah, we saw it. Rhina's dress is torn as well. It's just a coincidence that both their dresses got damaged. She is lying. She ruined it herself. She's pretending to be the victim. I don't know who did it. Um, Amelia, are you sure? I mean, it could be just an accident. No, it's not an accident. I saw her hiding the scissors. No, I don't know the scissors were there. Yeah, the scissors there doesn't mean anything. Stop making up stories. Yeah, is that because she's afraid she'll lose? Exactly, she's trying to blame Reina for her own mistakes. No, that's not true. Reina did this, and I won't let her get away with it. Here, Reina, you can wear this. We brought an extra just in case. What? You're giving her a spare dress? She ruined mine, and now you're helping her? Enough. But she's lying. She ruined my costume and now she's getting away with it. I don't know what to believe anymore, Amelia. You just accused her and then tried to hit her. I thought I knew you better than this. Amelia. I think you should apologize to Reina. What? Why should I apologize to her? She's the one who ruined my costume and lied about it. Apologize for attacking her, and then we can talk things out calmly. No way. 
Come on, let's not waste any more time on this. Reina, here's the dress. Let's get ready. Maybe we can borrow a costume from someone else? There must be someone willing to help. <laughs> I don't have another costume. This was my only chance to win. If I win, I can use that $500 to help my mother. Your mother? Come on, stop using her as an excuse to chase after money. Money can't solve everything. How dare you insult my mother like that? You have no idea what she's going through. I'm just saying, you're being too obsessed with the prize money. It's not a good look. You know what, Harry? You don't understand anything. I'm doing this for my mother. And if you can't support me, then just leave me alone. Okay, just stick with your 500 bucks. <laughs> Amelia, here, continue your catwalk. My costume is ruined. I will quit. What is this? Open it. Address? How? Um, I saw Rayina deliberately cutting your outfit. So, I rushed out to buy a new dress for you. Wait, you saw that? Yeah, but you'd better change it quickly. The catwalk is gonna start. I owe you big time for this, Jacob. I'll make sure to thank you properly later. I'm lucky to have you by my side. You're making me feel all bashful now. Go out there and shine, Amelia. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for the stunning Raina. Ha! Ah, there's no way Amelia can top this. She'll probably give up now. And now, put your hands together for Amelia. No, this can't be happening. Wow, look at Amelia. She's amazing. That dress looks perfect on her. Go, Amelia. Ladies and gentlemen, as much as we'd like to celebrate tonight, we have a serious matter to address. It has come to our attention that there was an incident backstage before the show. Raina deliberately sabotaged Amelia's outfit before the show. Jacob, you told him? Yeah, I couldn't stay silent about it. We take such actions very seriously. As a result, we have decided to cancel the award for Raina in light of her actions. I hope she's okay. That is what she deserves. Now, let's not let this overshadow the achievements of our contestants. The winner of the beauty pageant is Amelia. Thank you so much, everyone. This means the world to me. Sometime later. Amelia, can we talk? I have nothing to talk with you. I want to apologize again for not trusting you. Harry, you hurt me deeply. I thought you knew me better than that. I know, and I hate myself for it. I've liked you for a while, but I felt so helpless when I couldn't protect you, and I lashed out instead. What? He likes me? Wah, what? I like you, but after this. And um, me, you and Jacob would be better off as a couple. He's always been there for you, and I think he understands you way better than I do. Oh, come on, don't say that. I was angry but you're still my best friend. And I don't want us to change. I don't want to mess up our friendship either. But I also want you to be happy. I need time to think about everything Harry. Totally cool. Take all the time you need. And whatever happens, I'm here for you always. After the ball, unable to bear the weight of the harsh judgment, Reina decided to transfer schools. A few weeks later, Amelia and Jacob's friendship grows stronger, and they hang out more. Hey, Amelia, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. What's up? Hey, this scene reminds me of the day you bullied me. I know I messed up before, and I understand if you don't feel the same way. But, I really like you, Amelia. Like, really like you. Oh, Jacob, I... Hold on, let me finish. I've been a dumb goof and I'll understand if you can't see me that way. But I can't keep pretending these feelings aren't real. Jacob, I appreciate your honesty. And I've had some time to think too. The truth is, I like you too. Seriously, 
Seriously, let's give this a shot, okay? Really? You won't regret it, Amelia. Amelia and Jacob share a sweet moment, eager to explore their newfound feelings. In a surprising twist, Jacob, who used to bully Amelia, falls in love with her. The End